Hey guys, Isaac here, and today we're going to be starting a whole new line of overviews, which is the Naruto games. Now today, we're going to be playing Naruto Shippuden, the video game or the paper game. Um, that's the first of the four Naruto games on the IPGS game system, and I hope you guys like them. Alright, but the first thing to mention is that I have a new game system. Um... Here's how it looks. Because the old one was starting to break apart, you know, because I, I made the old one in 2010, so it was going to break apart. Um, here you have the same power on, off, eject game. But the minor difference is over here it says controller 2. On the other side of the system it says controller 1. On the back you have the memory card insert. On the top you have Isaac Cruz's IPGS paper game system. And it uses yarn attached to the two controllers instead of using um, the paper because yarn will allow for more mobility. That's really the new type of thing. Um, I just made it a few days ago. Well, what you need to play this game is of course the game cartridge which you guys know already even with the new game system gets inserts inserts over here all right gets inserted i meant all right so and you need a pencil two pencils or just one one with a sharp point and a good eraser and you need the finisher booklet this time in the naruto version and, of course, the character pouch. This time, the Naruto character pouch. Alright. So, in terms of the the art, there is none. All it says is Isaac Cruiser, which is a little, like, ninja band um, surrounding it over there. A headband. Um, Naruto should win the video game. Click here to start. And the IPGS. Alright. So, that's pretty much it for the cover. And, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out... The controller one. Alright. So here we have controller one here. And we're going to start the game. Alright, click the start. So, the first thing you'll notice when you open the game is a very bland new game load game section. Kind of a waste of space here. I wish I would have drawn something to make the new game load section look a little bit better. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into new game. Alright, so now you got the game modes. Now, this game will be heavily compared to Dragon Ball Z, the video game. Because Naruto and Dragon Ball Z, you guys know, they're compared a lot. Alright, so um, on the top there it says money, and it only has three game modes. So that's a problem. The first Dragon Ball Z game I made had five game modes. So um, that's a little bit of a problem, but um, you got story, duel, and shop. Um, let's look in the shop to see what they have. Oh, sorry guys. Can't cheat there. Down, down, A. To click the shop mode. You're gonna go in there. And here's the shop mode. Alright, so there's a bunch of characters you can unlock in this game. You got Kisame, Didara, Zetsu, Conan, Akamaru, Sage Mode, Naruto. And then you got the first, second, third, and fourth Hokage bundled in a package for $350,000. So the shop mode, um, there's a lot of just characters to unlock, which is nice. And I think you also unlock some characters in the story mode as well. Um, Akamaru only cost 50 cents, which is kind of weird, but, you know, Akamaru is a playable character. In case you don't know the characters, it's okay, guys. Um, don't worry about it. Um, so we're going to go back to the main menu. Game modes. Alright, now let's check out the dual mode. And before we go into it, um, the last, I mean, the first Dragon Ball Z game had 55 characters to start off. Let's see how much characters this game has. So we're going to go up one and click A and we're gonna go inside of the dual mode alright here it is so definitely not as much as Dragon Ball Z but a good fair amount of um, characters as you can see here are the characters that you start off with Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, Sakura, Sakura Shippuden, Sasuke, Rock Lee, Mike Guy, Choji, Ino, Kiba, Hinata, Shikamaru, Shino, Tenten, Tsunade, Gara, Kankuro, Tamari, Kakashi, and Akamaru. So I guess 
Oh, that that's one mistake, guys. You have to pay for Akamaru in the store, but he already comes um, equipped into the starting game. So that's one little main minor um, gripe about the game so far. Alright, so you have a bunch of characters here. Um, the dual mode main screen resembles Naruto, I mean Dragon Ball Z, sorry, greatly with the charging and the health. Alright, so that's the dual mode screen. Um, there, it's a good dual mode, there's a, plenty of characters, a lot of variations, but let's go into the story mode, which is pretty much the main reason um, you would play the game, is for the story mode. Alright, so the story mode is actually pretty special. So when you click story mode, you'll be discouraged because it comes very, very bland screen here. But you'll soon figure out that it's actually very, very nice. You know why? Because the story mode says select story, regular or shippunen. And that's the that's the that's the um the power to this game basically. You could play through the regular mode, which has you like as Naruto and he's younger, you know, doing all that stuff, or you could do the Shippunen mode, which has you um in the Shippunen story arc. Most most of the Shippunen story arc. Alright. So let's say if we were gonna pick regular mode here, we'll click it, and here it goes. Here it goes, sorry. The number one, the first battle is I get to be Naruto versus a bunch of targets, and it's called the beginning. That's that's really, it's really kind of a of a mini game type of first battle. But the second battle is called the start, and I'm Naruto and he versus Kakashi. So then there's just a line of battles here in the regular mode, and if we turn the page, zoom out there, it starts all the battles. That's that's really um. The regular mode, um, I will not be displaying one of the battles in this video because, frankly, guys, it plays exactly it like DBZ. It's the same type of gameplay. Um, if you guys want to see a battle of it, you could comment down. But for now, I'm not really going to show you because you guys know how the gameplay works. Um, so that's 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 pretty much the regular mode. Um, and... To get off track for a second, if we look at the finisher booklet, the, the one thing that I like this finisher booklet better than the other one is you actually have to press buttons in order to do your finishing move. Like if you were going to do Mike Guy's fire punch finishing move, you'll have to press the required amount of buttons in the required amount of time. So that's the better part of the Naruto finisher booklet. Just pointing that out. Alright, so now we're going to check into Shippuden mode, see if that, um, see what type of first battles that that has. Alright, we go in the Shippunen mode. The other mode had about 13 or 11 battles. I kind of forgot. And this mode, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it might be one less or it might be one more. I forgot. Alright, so here's this. And the first battle um, allows you to be Naruto Shippunen versus Jiraiya. The second battle allows you to be Naruto Shippunen versus Sasuke Shippunen. And the third allows you to be Sakura versus Granny Chio, which is a playable character in the game. So, overall, this is the game. There is no stages in the game, but remember, Dragon Ball Z only got stages after at least the fourth installment. So, that was the Naruto game, guys. I hope you liked it. And the Naruto 2 the Atatsuki or Akatsuki and other um, video game overview will be coming up very soon, guys. So stay tuned for that, and um, thanks for watching. All right, bye, guys.